The software bit is the most critical element of any digital picture frame project. If you want to build a nice one, you have to decide on several different software packages like the slide viewer, photo management, the playback control and a few more. While it's great fun for some people to tweak and optimize their photo frame to deliver exactly what they want, others like to get results quickly. Fortunately, there is one integrated software which takes care of all of this. It's the photo app made by Framen, and in this video I will show you how to use it with your Raspberry Pi in three easy steps. Hi, my name is Wolfgang and this channel is all about buying or building the best digital picture frame for you. For lots of information on this subject, visit my blog thedigitalpictureframe.com. In this tutorial, I'm assuming that you have already completed the basic operating system setup on your Raspberry Pi. If you haven't, then check the video notes and look for the link to my post how to configure the software for your digital picture frame in 60 minutes. It actually takes less than that. Now the software I'm going to show you is a simple mobile app combined with an online service. All you have to do is to install the app on your mobile phone and add a few lines to your Raspberry Pi startup process. So what about this app? This photo app was developed by a German company called Framen that sells large digital picture frames and related services. The app controls both the photo library, the playlists and the playback options. This one app is all you need to turn your Raspberry Pi into a digital picture frame. When Framen developed the control software for their own photo frames, they made it platform independent. This means that you can use the app with basically any device that has a browser. I don't know of any other company in this industry which offers this kind of openness. With the Framen app, you can control up to three separate picture frames and store about 1000 pictures. So if you have, let's say, one photo frame at home, one in the office and one with your parents, you can manage it all with just one app. This is possible because images are not stored locally on the picture frame but are streamed from the cloud to your device. The app is available for iOS and Android and is free. By the way, this tutorial is not sponsored by Framen, but I really like what they are doing. I have posted an extensive review on this app and the link is in the video notes. So let's dive into step number one. Go to the App Store for iOS or Google Play for Android and download the Framen Photo app. When you search for Framen, you will also see an app called Framen Play, but that is for something different, so make sure you download the Framen Photo app. Next, create a free Framen account. All you need is your name and email. Once you've done that, you can put your mobile phone down for a moment. We'll come back to it right after the Raspberry Pi setup. Now, I'll show you how to modify the startup script so that a browser window will open and go to the frame and link. Just connect to your picture frame via terminal. If you don't know how this works, check out my blog, it's really straightforward. Start by loading the latest updates of the operating system. This is a good time for a cup of coffee as it may take a few minutes to complete. Then go to the system configuration, go to point three boot options, then select B1 desktop CLI and then B4 desktop auto login. Next, we'll take care of the mouse pointer. Because even if you don't have a mouse attached to your picture frame, you may still see a pointer on the screen. A package called unclutter will make that go away. Next, we'll create a startup file. There is a lot of text in this file, which you can just copy from my blog article and paste in the editor window. Finally, we want to launch the start file at boot. Enter. In the editor, you can delete everything that's in there and paste this text into it. Again, you can find all the code in my blog article. Save and exit the editor and reboot the Raspberry Pi. The first time you launch your Raspberry Pi, a QR code is shown. In the Frame and Photo app, go to the monitor with the plus sign icon 
and scan the QR code. After connecting, go to the home icon on the app, tap any stock image playlist and then press the large flyer icon in the middle. Now the photos should come up on your picture frame. And that's all there is. You can now upload images from your photo app or use the many stock photos in the app. Your pictures are stored on European servers and are only accessible to you. You can delete them from there at any time. The logic is similar to that of Dropbox. No one from outside can look at them unless you allow it. Talking of which, one nice gimmick of the Frame and Photo app is that you can allow friends and family to add images to your frame by sending them a link. Just play around a little bit. You'll figure everything out in no time. I'm very curious how the Frame and app works for you and would be happy to hear your feedback in the comments down below. Also, make sure that you check out my blog where you find more information. Thanks for watching and good luck with your digital picture frame project.